My girlfriend had her icky period, ruined the dress I bought her, and made me lie about it. I'm furious at her, but here's what she said to me. Did she say, stop being such an a-hole and period shaming me? Seriously, can you actually be a supportive partner? My girlfriend and I have been together for over two years. She's always been very neat, tidy, and very polished. My love a good polished woman. Yeah, like it's kind of a weird, like I would never call my girlfriend neat, tidy, and, and polished. polished. <laughs> Unless like she's like the queen? Yeah, or... may maybe like a, like a royal family member. Or maybe what he's actually saying is neat, tidy, and Polish. And he just like, you Know, wants to mention the country her she heritage, came from. Yeah, exactly, heritage. you know, you, you respect respect your, yeah. your your roots. This situation makes no sense to me. We are at a very fancy event with a few of my friends. There were social distancing rules. Everyone wore masks, etc. My girlfriend was wearing a beautiful white dress, which I recently bought for her. Stunning. Stunning. The dress was very expensive. How expensive, John? Very. Very. Ooh, very. High class. You can see the polish on this Aww. woman. The tidiness. <laughs> She's absolutely glossing Oh, the queen has arrived <laughs> and she is in her royal gown. And we, we're all having a great time. Party like it's 1832 and the freaking royal family is at its height. However, at one point, my girlfriend excused herself to go to the bathroom and then I didn't see her again until she sent me a text from the car asking if we could go home. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did someone make an oopsie? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Boyfriend, I shot myself and <laughs> spread it all over the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> what if what if she I just wrote like red rum and poop on the mirror? What if as revenge she projectile diarrhea on his like in his car? Dude, that would be or forget projectile, projectile diarrhea. We got diarrhea. We got oh we got other things, you know, just just down like four burritos and just like fire away. <laughs> John, why are you planting this image in my head? I really hey, you don't planted want way the, worse. No, I've never way planted worse. any bad images, but damn. Oh my god. Is there such thing as projectile diarrhea? Yes, 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 and yes. How I've far? Had it. I've how had far? It. How far you've projected? I was like Elon Musk rocket about to lift off that toilet. Definitely. Could you like do one of those things? You know, like have you ever seen those graffiti artists that like spray paint out of a fire extinguisher? Like, could you do that? You know, I could move, but I would not be able to do anything. It, abstract, Idea, it would be abstract. Art piece. Yes. I want you to paint a wall. That's where you'll see me next, guys. After some Taco Bell. That's my final evolution. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a, here for it. As hey, a I, I think the OK Gang will will show we'll us your art me. show. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it might stink, though. Now, obviously, I was slightly annoyed because I didn't want to leave so soon. When I reached the car, I asked why she wanted to go home, and she told me that she got her period unexpectedly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. John, I got a crazy story for you. Yeah? Okay, so I was at the Korean spa this past weekend, and I walked past this guy, and he literally had two dogs. That's crazy. They were right next to each other. They looked completely functional, and they were long as heck. And honestly, I was like, do they both get hard at the same time? That's crazy. Crazy, but what's even crazier is that Blue Chew can get them rock hard no matter what. No matter how many dongs you have. Get your eggplant erect. There's no excuse. In 1980s Germany, you could single-handedly create the fall of the Berlin Wall with your dong. It's the best way to give your lady the night of her drink. Make sure to try Blue Chew because Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Just chew it and do it, baby. And we've got a special gift for our listeners. Oh, yeah, we do. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code OKOP at checkout. Just pay five bucks shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code OKOP to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and safety information. Thank you to Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Back to the story. I asked why she didn't bring any extra tampons or pads or use a tracking app. Why? Tampons! Why aren't you tracking your shit? She tried to defend herself by saying that she did everything she could and that she had a period stain and didn't want to stay because of the stain. I mean, to be fair, sometimes period, they just come and like a wind. You never know 100%. And dude, to be at a fancy event in a white dress and ha like no Advil, no nothing, like that would 
suck. Okay, but I got a solution. Take a ketchup bottle into the bathroom and paint the entire dress red, and then they won't know. Then you'll come out like, oh my god, did she just do a little Cinderella change? Damn, she looks good in that red dress. What are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing Heinz. Designer. Craft. <laughs> Craft. <laughs> she asked me to lie to my friends and tell them that she was feeling unwell. She wanted me to say all this so she could go home. She had a man's jacket, a mutual friend of ours, covering her legs and the nasty stain and pleaded with me to take her home so she could shower and unwind. I took her home and lied to my friends. <laughs> when she was getting out of the car, the stain was very noticeable. It was very big and essentially ruined an expensive dress, which I bought. She also made me purposefully lie because she wasn't prepared enough and made me miss an event with my friends. Needless to say, I was extremely pissed. Oh, God. He just keeps getting better. Aging like fine wine in this story. I'm hoping this last paragraph, you redeem yourself. So she said that I was not being considerate and went to go lie down because she had a headache, quote unquote. She wanted to lie down. She woke up and I haven't spoken to her properly until she apologizes and gives back the friend's jacket. I don't think I'm an a-hole, but when I told my friend, the same friend who gave her a jacket, he told me that I was the a-hole and my girlfriend kind of agreed. Am I the a-hole? Before I give my judgment, guys, in the comments, please tell me what you think. Uh, is OP the a-hole? Is this dress ruining girlfriend the a-hole? There is an edit, by the way, so give us your quick take and we'll... Quick take. OP a thousand percent the a-hole. Unless something in this edit is him being like, oh shit, I guess I was wrong. I guess I'm the a-hole. I logged out of this account about an hour after posting because the response was terrible and then came back a ton of responses calling me the a-hole. After my girlfriend came home from returning the jacket, she apologized for ruining the dress. I apologized for being a idiot and not understanding the whole period thing. Once again with the quotes. Come on, bro. Uh, she forgave me then we went out for ice cream, rewatched her favorite movie, and that is the end of the story. Okay. Well, at least there's silver lining. So just, I, again, I would love to know what everyone else in the comments thinks. Write it down below. I want to read those things. But OP is definitely the a-hole, but the edit saves OP a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like, OP's still the a-hole, but now the difference is OP knows yeah. that he was the a-hole. Which honestly kind of reverses a little bit of the a-holeness. Yeah. At least yeah. he's redeemed himself a little bit, right? Like ideally in a perfect world, all a-holes realize they're a-holes and become less of an a-hole in the future. And I think OP has done that a little bit. But John, I got some nonsense for you to soak up. Oh, hit me with it, baby. Yeah, I have some nonsense for you about not wanting to split the inheritance. Oh, God. I want to keep all that money to myself like an evil dragon on top of a mountain. Cha-ching!